WNBA is distancing itself from Atlanta Dream co-owner Senator Kelly Leffler. That's right. The league saying that the senator is no longer involved in daily team operations after she denounced plans to honor the Black Lives Matter movement. Her efforts triggering a flood of backlash and some support on social media. Many players demanding the team cut ties with the senator over the ordeal. CBS 46's Trace and Bragg has that story. Today, many WNBA players made it clear they don't only disagree with Senator Leffler's remarks, but they also want her out of the league. Social media was set ablaze Tuesday by a number of WNBA players and the WNBPA calling for the league to immediately cut ties with Senator Kelly Leffler. This all after Leffler sent a letter to the WNBA's commissioner strongly opposing a recent decision to add Black Lives Matter and say her name to honor female victims of police brutality to the league's warm up shirts. She's dead wrong and it's unfortunate that she's playing politics uh, with very real pain in our community. In the letter, Leffler, who is part owner of the Atlanta Dream, states, quote, I was incredibly disappointed to read about efforts to insert a political platform into the league and the lives of each and every African-American matter. However, I adamantly oppose the Black Lives Matter political movement. That we've got to value the lives of all of our citizens, which is what we mean when we say Black Lives Matter. Leffler declined an interview with CBS 46 News about her statements. However, her political opponent, Reverend Raphael Warnock, did not. Well, I think that the WNBA is trying to find itself on the right side of history. Kelly Leffler, unfortunately, is on the wrong side of history. As for the WNBA's response, the commissioner sent a statement that reads in part, the WNBA is based on the principle of equal and fair treatment of all people, and we will continue to use our platforms to vigorously advocate for social justice. The commissioner added that Leffler has not made day-to-day -day decisions for the Atlanta Dream since October of 2019. Reporting in Atlanta, I'm Trayson Bragg, CBS 46 News.